Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another tutorial video on my channel. This video is a little bit older. It's definitely more of like a spring or summer design, but I was thinking if you change the colors, you could easily make this a fall or winter design too. So it is super simple. We're just gonna use some loose glitters. We're gonna do a little tiny bit of stamping, a little bit of crystals, and that'll complete this really easy design. Let's get started. I do have a video up on her previous design. It was this really fun unicorn design that I had so much fun creating and sharing with you guys. I'll be sure to leave that in the description box below if you're interested in seeing that one. But the first thing all I'm doing is she needed her nails significantly shorter than we created them last time. So I'm just zipping off the ends so that I can easily refile them. And then I'm taking down the bulk of her nails. The glitter gel that I'm going to be using is called Pixie Party from Light Elegance. It is a nice rose gold fine glitter gel. I wanted to put this glitter all over her ring finger. Now I didn't want this to be the main focus of this particular nail. I did want to add some loose glitter. So I'm going to take this one called Rosé from the Glitter Boutique. It is kind of a matte rose type of glitter and I didn't want to put this all over the nail because I didn't want to take away from the glitter that we were using. So I decided to do it just kind of up the side of her nail. This is one of my favorite techniques to do if I have uh, clients with pointed nails. I think it just adds a little bit of extra dimension and I like to kind of make it go to a finer glitter point closer to the tip. Because those glitters had a little bit of a peachy tone to it, I thought I'd make peach the primary color of this nail design. So I'm using Do The Watuzzi from Light Elegance. It's a really nice kind of light peachy type of color. It's almost like an off-white peach. I did want this color to be a lot of the focus of this nail design. So we're gonna use this on her pointer finger as well as her pinky finger. I did want a vanilla type of color as the background for some stamping nails. So I'm gonna take this color from Jelly Fit. It's a gel polish. I don't typically embed gel polishes. I actually don't typically use gel polishes because I prefer to embed. And gel polishes are such a thin viscosity, they're not typically designed to be embedded. So if you are going to embed gel polish, just make sure that you're creating a little bit more of your structure with your clear gel. But I don't like doing color on top. You guys know that for the most part, like there's some colors I make the exception for, but generally if I can embed a color, I will. And this particular tone is exactly what I was looking for for uh, the daisy nails that we're gonna be doing. So I decided to put this one all over her middle finger as well as her thumb finger. To tie some more of that glitter into the nail design, I'm gonna put this just kind of up the side of her thumbnail, and then I'm gonna go in again with some of those rosé glitters and just add a little bit more dimension to the nail by popping them right on top of the glitter gel. This is another reason why I decided to embed that gel polish is because I knew I wanted to add some glitter on top of it. You can do glitter like on top of a finished file nail too. I just don't like how it adds a little bit of extra bulk right before top gloss. So if I can embed anything, that is what I choose to do. When I embed my colors, I just like to do a slip layer down first before I go in with a little bit of a bigger bead. In this particular nail design, I'm using my Fusion 5, which is a thicker consistency, but I like how flexible this particular gel is as well. The Vintage Polish Collection that released from Clear Jelly this past spring is perfect for something like this. And I also wanted to use this daisy plate that they released as well. I love the floral plates that they release. You can do so much with them. So I wanted to show you guys here that when I was stamping this three layer design, I didn't like how I did it here. So initially I did the background, then I did the centers, and then I went in with the outline and I found it really hard to line the outline up with the centers. So when I went back in and did it again, I did the background, then I did the outline, and then I went in with the centers. And I found this to be a little bit easier to line those centers up where the outline's supposed to be. 
that was the only stamping that I decided to do on this nail design. I was thinking of doing something on her pinky, but ultimately my particular client loves Swarovski crystals, so I figured let's include some more Swarovski crystals in the design as well. The colors that I'm using today, there's one called Light Peach, which matches those loose glitters perfectly, and then we're also using Light Silk, which is a really, really light gold color. The color si or the crystal sizes, the big one is an SS20, we're going in with some SS9s, and then some SS5s to frame the design. Once those crystals are on, it's just time to top gloss our nail design. Like I told you guys, it is super simple. There's not a whole heck of a lot going on with this particular design, which is why I feel like it's one that you could easily take inspiration from and change for their particular seasons. Add some leaves on the pointer nail instead of the daisies, change the tones a little bit, and you're good to go. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this super short tutorial. If you like these tutorials, definitely be sure to let me know in the comments section below. Make sure you're following me on all my social media and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!